this is Rabbi Chewbacca, and I was just on the phone with Gene from the King of 95th Street, and I told him I had a turkey in the oven after we was talking about a Lone Ranger and a Tonto being an Indian. And here's the turkey, in case you didn't believe in me. I'm not sure if I heard a little bit of sarcasm in your voice, but here's the turkey that I told you was already. And that's my, it was about a 12 or 13 pound of baby turkey. And this is Michael Fazio. And that the turkey, she was done just the perfect when I walked in. She was a one hour on one side and a one hour on the other side. In case you have to know how to cook a turkey, I kind of tell you, I kind of send directions for dawn. I do not clean the bird at all. I take the bird out of the bag. And I put a salt on the bird, and also I put I put a, this is stuff which is pretty good. Montreal steak sauce, because this is spice I have found. I put some in the turkey, on the turkey with the salt on the turkey. I just take it out of the bag. I do not wash the turkey. I do not do anything to the turkey. I just put a salt on the turkey. And then I put this Montreal steak sauce on there, like that, in, inside, and I, I pull the rump out of the turkey, like that. And uh, after one hour before the turkeys are done, I take my baked potatoes, and I take it, a, take my fork, and you kind of see, I just push that fork in there like that, and that's perfectly done. One hour for this size, medium size of potatoes, they're about three inches. They're about a three inches in a diameter and long and about two and a half inches wide. And that's how I roll. And this is Rabbi Jew Barker. And today's July 9th. I think it's the 9th of July. Maybe the 11th. Wow, she's moving right along. This is the longest day of the year if it's the 9th. July 9th, I think. But anyway... That's how I roll. I really did make a turkey, my friend Gene, who was explaining to me about Lucas Oil, as if I do not understand about Lucas Oil. I understand about Lucas Oil, because I have many bottles of Lucas Oil in my life. I have, I'm a Lucas Oil type of guy. That's right. And this is a Rabbi Jew Barker. I'm a Rabbi Jew Barker, and maybe I go in and grab my dick of doom. While I'm talking, that turkey, she's too hot to deal with. She's settling now. I take it out about 15 minutes, but it's still met, wet inside. And then I, she's, a, and then she cooks from the inside out. And then I'm gonna take that son of a bitch, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna deal with that in a few minutes. And this is a Rabbi Jew Barker. This is gonna be a private video for my friend Gene. Because he likes when I put Mr. Obama on the blue balls, and that's a Michael Fazio and a Key Largo saying to Mr. Obama, he's a good Obama because he keeps my blue balls warm with his chin. That's right. That's how Mr. Obama rolls. Watch. He got the blue balls on the chin, and you could see the, the temperature of the blue balls rising if you had a, 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 a meter. But, uh, but I gotta tell you that the blue balls, I could have feel those blue balls yesterday. They're getting very warm right to now. And a god day to everybody from Michael Fazio in the Florida Keys. That's right. God a day to you all. And hello, uh, Jean. And hello, Dawn. I know Dawn, she likes, she's a freaking a cook. Oh, God. Gotta say one thing about your wife, Jean. She can a cook. I remember once we had a asparagus or broccoli with a garlic and butter man that was an amazing meal it was a really good meal she could have really cook she was a good cook she is a good cook I'm sure but if I was married to Dawn I would have be about 900 pounds instead of 250 <laughs> okay ladies and gentlemen have a nice day bye bye